team switch sides and get ready to go. Period two action for the Northwell Ice Center at Eisenhower Park in East Meadow. New York on the island. It is 1-1 between the Panel Islanders and the Connecticut Condors. Shots are 13-6 in favor of Pal, according to the very informational scoreboard to our right. Yeah. Although the goals could have been 2-1. to one. The goal was waved off in the dying seconds. They would have given the Islanders the lead going into their mission. Instead, we are equal as Murphy sends the puck up the wall off the draw. Powell track back. Sent up the wall, Murphy pitching, and he let his man by. Two on two now. Left side, Chan is back. So is Burke, and he executed a very fine poke check to break up what could have been quite a dangerous opportunity. And now here he comes out through center ice. Burke uh, switching gears, throws it in off the goaltender stick. Chan digging down low. Brandon Chan around for Danny Ginolfi. He's pressured, lost his man. Or maybe, I wouldn't say lost his man as Burke flips it over the gauge. He more got free of his man. I think that's what you would say. <laughs> Nonetheless, Islanders are into the zone. Lupo back and he'll clear it. Just inside the line, they battle away and the Islanders will come through to the dot. Nice move into the middle, thwarted by Corpy. And Baxe comes ahead now. It's a head of steam, Baxe moving, Baxe shooting just high. Goodness, what a shot by Baxe. You don't want to get him in that kind of a position where he's got a rush and he's got space to tee up a bullet. Because Lord knows he can. When called upon. Face off will come to our left. Good sight lines. Here for a broadcast, perched right above the red line. Only blind spot is in your boards, and that's not bad. Compared to some of the other places we've gone. <laughs> nice move, no shot really, it went wide. Islanders love that deep pass. There's another shot from the line, went right through the crease. Nobody got a stick on it, and it went wide. Murphy having some trouble on below. He gave it to Burke. Blake Burke off the wall, but not out. Fredkin now clears the zone to the red line, but no further. Pal back on it. Entry left side. A spinning pass to the middle as suddenly uh, the Videotron board comes to life. Here mid-second. Uh, Murphy's got plenty of space. Here comes Murphy, he's centered, and no one was in the area except the power player who deflected away. That's gonna distract me for the rest of the game, I just know it. Baxe splits two man, he's ahead. Here comes Baxe getting inside. Baxe waits around the net, couldn't tuck it in front. Puck was loose in the crease, and now it is swept to safety all the way down the ice, but it will be icing. That's what he could do. Blake Baxe, as we've seen so many times before, is a marvelous, magician-esque rush. Just couldn't tuck it home. Corpy having trouble with the line, and he couldn't. Away comes Pal, left side, Feinstein's racing back, but it's going to be a break. Great stop by Bilo, puck is still loose, tucked in, they score! Corpy lost the puck in his skates. Pal hops upon it, a nice stop by Bilo. But he couldn't get on the rebound, and the Islanders have the lead, 2-1 is your score here with 11.51 to go in period two. Uh, 
Islanders to observe that lead. They've had to work for it. Here they come again, a wraparound, and no shot. The player lost an edge, fell down, and now Backstay's the other way. Backstay lifting multiple sticks, shooting, and then high. Penalty upcoming here against the Islanders. They'll touch the puck, and the Connecticut Condors are going to head to the power play. How about that tricky little play by Blake Backstay, though? He lift. He lifts the stick of the Islander player and still maintains possession of the puck. That's something else right there. Condor's power play unit made up of Lupo, Burke, Ginolfi, Feinstein, and Corpy on the back end. It rolls in on goal off the draw and we'll do it again. Burke again tried to deflect it to the goal off the faceoff. Doesn't go, but now battle away for it at the slot. Chipped and then clear. But all the way down to nice, it'll go. Uh, Feinstein's back. Uh, he's got an Islander already all over him. He got it ahead, though, to Lupo. Safety, safely, rather, not safety. Here's Burke, space, far side. He shoots, and a gutsy block is made. Back to Corpy at the line, gets it in there. Ginolfi was lurking in front of the net and he couldn't get a stick on the rebound. Feinstein now shoots from the line, off a leg, Ginolfi whacking, still there at the edge of the crease. Or the goaltender will smother it. Fragmented power play. Thus far for the Condors. So a bit at 14 left to go. Back say Abbott and Chan with Murphy and Burke. Just like that, the Videotron is off. Murphy sends it in deep off the draw. A stick goes flying, and that's going to be a penalty? Trip. Late call by the officials. It seemed like more of a 50-50 collision there. Between the Islander player and Brandon Chan in deep, but it is only one going to the box. That is Chan. Huh. All right. That means a minute and thir three, not 30, three seconds of four on four action. Plenty of space out there for David Burke. Shot deflected up in the air after it got blocked right up by the line. Burke trying to play it like a power play and shoot it from a high point. Uh, Abbott tried to center. Instead, it deflects back out to neutral territory where Baxi will spin with it. Uh, pushes it up ahead. That got poked back the other way. And Pal is in across the line. Drop pass. Abbott was there to intercept. Couldn't clear. And now Baxi knocks it away. Abbott up ahead, Baxay just couldn't get free. Now it's Murphy, left side, space for Murphy, drops it back, Baxay shoots. Uh, he didn't have a lot of time to execute a good shot. And he got stopped by the goaltender. One on one, now Corpy. He's got a nice poke check there. Gavin Corpy in a one on one situation. He made a good play, now he's up in the offense. Here's Baxi with a great move in front for Corpy and he just deflected it wide. My, my, Baxi, now Corpy shoots off the outside of the cage. Islanders now on the power play, the puck's in the crease, right there, and unbelievably stayed out. Baxi pointing to the referee as if he wants a penalty. None will come. Wow, that was close. Short-handed goal by the Contours. I mean, that puck was there on the far side. I don't know what kept it out. The goaltender looked like he was... I mean, the trouble is... Uh, 
The goaltender looked like he was pinned down by a Condor player. Doherty had a little bit of a equipment issue to take care of off the draw. Delivered whatever piece of he had to to the bench and we're underway. Puck centered right there. Dug out by Corpy but not cleared. Down low. Powell sets it up on the power play to the line and it just went through the plates of the defenseman. And out it comes. Five seconds to go. That should do it. For the man advantage, Chan is out of the box now as Chalikov pokes it ahead from the knees, from his knees, rather. In comes Powell, centered off the back of the net. Chalikov can't clear it. He was up there for checking, but couldn't get it out. Uh, shot flipped through. Bilo made the save. Rebound is still there. Pops into the slot. Backhander. Stein is made. And a whistle. Oh, my. Blake. Islanders have a dangerous scramble in the crease of their own. And just like the one on the other end of the ice, the puck stays out. Off the draw, Pal controls, chipped in the slot, knocked down by the stick of Fradkin, and the Condors were able to clear it. Might have been back safe stick, rather. Using the area, too. Pal on the puck, far side. Spun in on goal. Murphy deflected it in deep. Murphy knocked down. That's going to be a penalty. Another one of those 50-50 collisions goes against the Islanders as they'll touch the puck now. Power play upcoming. Another big opportunity here for the Condors to tie the game at two. I'd like to see that collision again because it didn't look to me like Murphy was checked or tripped. I didn't see the call exactly. What it was, might have been hooking for all I know. Uh, slashing, one of those penalties it's holding. One of those penalties that's tough to see. Condors make their goalie switch halfway through this game. Uh, puck teed up by Burke, it got deflected in on goal and doubled up. Uh, both goaltenders, both starting goaltenders have been good. Brick walls in there, cages. Allowing a, com uh, allowing a, ooh, puck. Right through the crease off the draw. Janofi put it off the side of the net. Both goaltenders allowed a combined three goals. That's what I was trying to say. Nick Petrosi is now in for the Condors as the faceoff will go far side. And Blake Burke is on it. Referees do some directing of the traffic before we drop the puck. Burke could center off the draw. Oh, high shot from Burke is exactly that high of the cage. Chan picking up at the line. Janolfi goes to the goal. Chan's shot got blocked, although it knocked a stick of the. Uh, sti ooh, excuse me. A tongue tied there. Um, knocked a stick out of the Pal player's hands. Certainly a lot of peas, Pal player. Hard to say. Burke centered right there is Genovi. They dig away for it. Chan was in the uh, was in the net mouth as well. But it is covered up. Condors are already off the draw. It is Powell we wait for as they make some changes. Minute 14 to go in the power play. Plenty of time. Two minutes seems like an eternity in a squirt hockey game. Here's Corpy, threw it on an Islander's stick, chance to clear, oh, just under Corpy's blade, and out come the Islanders through center ice into the zone. They'll kill some time as it's flipped on around. Gavin Corpy, he's trying to pick up on it, did. He got it to the captain, Backsay. 
He really couldn't do anything at all, though. Here's the break. Backsay, a two on L with Doherty. Backsay in and a beautiful back check by the Islander player who got there in an instant, seemingly. That's the plays that win you hockey games right there. Backsay tried to center. Instead, it comes all the way back out. Where Henry Feinstein will circle back. This is Feinstein moving ahead. Backsay now. Backsay in there, got tripped up. No penalties called. Funny, isn't it? When a call seems blatant, it's not made. But when it's not blatant, and I'm talking about both sides here, it is made. Puck threw off a leg by the Islanders. Man advantage over for the Condors now as they get it ahead to Backsay. Here comes Backsay again, meandering up. He got in, he got knocked down again by a stick, and no call is made. Pal is the other way. They got a lead man, deflected off a skate of one of the Islander teammates. That could have been a big time opportunity. Speaking of opportunities, here comes a shot off a nice rush, and it is fended off by Petrozzi. Islanders still have it inside the zone. Centering pass, swing and a miss, still there. Bottom of the far circle, they'll battle away for it. To the line now. Here's it comes a shot, knocked down by Burke. Real gritty block, he winced in pain after he took one in the shoulder. Takes one for the team, he's still out there. Fradkin losing possession, still in the slot. Murphy sweeps it up and out. And the Condors finally will get a chance to regroup and make some changes as the Islanders now meandering ahead. It's a four on one. Murphy's the only guy back now. And he lost his man and a shot came through and it went wide. It kind of rolled off the stick of the Islander player and now it'll come out to center. Whew. Another bullet dodged by the Condors. Islanders are just buzzing right now. They're in the zone again. Nice drag move. Shot goes right off the crossbar. Islanders find iron, not twine. It is still a one goal game. Condors holding on to that one goal deficit by a thread. To the line it comes. Another shot, score! It got deflected in the slot. It was bouncing from the start. Nonetheless, it finds its way to the back of the net and the Islanders are up three to one. There's another goal you could see coming. It took about four or five chances in a row by Pell to knock one home, and they finally do from the line. They've worked that deep pass so much this game, and they finally get the goal from out there. Although it might have been deflected in the slot, nonetheless. Uh, it's a three, it's a two goal lead for the Islanders who are now offside at the line. Three fifteen to go in period two. Face off just outside the line is won by Pal again. They'll march into the zone. Wall of defenders there by the Condors to meet them. Wall gave way and the Islanders are in. Corpy drops his man. No penalty called. Corpy attempting to clear. Cannot. Shot come through from the line. Feinstein was there to intercept and then. Get it up to the safety of neutral territory. In no man's land, they battle away. Pal gets it in on the right side. There's the cross pass. It was Corpy breaking it up. Puck was there on the slot for a second before it's thrown to the wall by Baxay, who's right there then to clear it. Pal's in again. Stopped at the line on the first try. They gotta wait to get everyone out of the zone. Open side, nice move. Shot sails wide from the high slot. Corby gets the puck down. Lupo up there, no icing. 
I'm not sure if it was Lupo that helped negate the icing or it was negated, waved off from the beginning. Nonetheless, the Condors have it inside the line. Back say lost it. Uh, out to neutral territory, the island inside. They'll sweep it in. Some helpful information. <laughs> they showed some stocks up on the uh, video tron board. Real helpful. <laughs> we are near New York. Don't forget that. Not that far away from Wall Street. Powell attempts to clear their own zone, can't. Here comes Burke, he waits and then fired one high. He's had a few like that. I don't think he's hit the net yet. Uh, Islanders are back the other way, right in front they score! Full ice rush, it is tucked in behind Petruzzi uh, and the Islanders uh, have increased their lead to three, four to one. It was 67 seconds left to go in period two. They've controlled the whole tempo tonight. Chances column, man, obviously, or not so obviously, but they have controlled the shot column as well. 23-16. So, to put it in a nutshell, it has been the Islanders all over the contours, although Murphy coming free. Puck got poked off his stick as he wasn't free. Feinstein broke that pass up at center ice. Got it ahead for Abbott. Abbott for Chan now. Here's Brandon Chan. Murphy goes to the goal. Shot goes along the ice by Chan and sticked out. 30 seconds to go. Up to center ice now. Here come the Islanders. Potential break through the middle and then a nice pass and they score again. That's three in the final three minutes in the second and it's five to one. In the seven minutes he's played, Nick Petruzzi has been hung out to dry. He's allowed three. Pass across, Feinstein broke it up. Got it ahead now. Backsay, maneuvering up. Blake Backsay, forced to the outside. Five seconds and it rolled off his stick. Two seconds. Second period, a nice long second period is over. 5-1 Islanders, they get three late uh, and lead it by a margin of four heading into the third. 